getting mortgage ready. In the process, now we're gonna talk, we've talked a lot about credit and reviewing your credit report. Now I'm gonna go through the top five credit myths that are out there that most people don't know. So number five, you only have one credit score. Most people don't realize that you have more than one credit score and don't understand that the lender is gonna take into account all three credit scores and use your middle. They're gonna knock off your high score, knock off your low score. They're gonna base your pricing and your interest rate and your qualification off your middle score. So it's important to have all three as high as you can possibly have them. Um, myth number four is credit card balances. People think that if I pay my credit cards on time, I'm gonna have a good credit score. Well, when it comes to your credit card balances, remember that if you've got a high balance, that same thing is almost as having bad credit. So you wanna keep those balances as close to zero. I like to explain it this way. Remember as you're grading a paper in school, if you have zero to 10% balance, you're gonna be an A student. 9% you're gonna be an A minus, 0% you're gonna be an A plus. So 10 to 30, you're gonna be a B student. 30 to 50, you're gonna be a C student. 50% or more of that car used and you're gonna be a D student. Still get a passing grade, but your score is not as high as it possibly could be. So credit card balance as low as possible. Make sure you remember that. And credit cards can have a huge impact on your score and it leads you to myth number three that closing a credit card is gonna increase your credit score. During the getting mortgage ready process, a lot of times people make this mistake. They go and see that they have three or four credit cards open and active and they go close them out because they're not using them. This is a myth, you don't want to do that. That is not going to have a positive impact on your credit score. In fact, it's gonna shorten your time in file and show that you've closed an account out and affect your utilization ratio, meaning your available credit. So if you've got those credit cards out there and you're not using them, in regards to your credit score, keep them. The older they get with the lower the balance, the better you're gonna score. So number two, really important, we've talked about that in several of our videos today, don't pay a collection. It's a myth. People think that just paying a collection is gonna improve your credit score. And in fact, there's less than about a 2% difference whether a collection's paid or unpaid. The most weight's given to how recent the activity. So if you pay a collection that's three or four years old, now you're gonna have collection activity just last month. Paying that collection is gonna have more of an impact than it was. So keep in mind, don't just go pay a collection thinking it's gonna have a positive impact. And myth number one, always my favorite, credit reports are accurate. Don't take my word for it. Look at the FTC report that reported over 79% of the reports they audited contain errors. Wrong address, wrong name, wrong account, information bad enough that it actually can lead to a turndown as opposed to approval. So take off these five myths in consideration when you're getting mortgage ready and remember them. It's going to help you get mortgage ready and move through the process a lot simpler.